Well, hey guys, I was just working with my shrimp down here. Needed a big net, because you know, shrimp are really small. Uh, anyways, I was talking to uh, a fellow fish fan member, you might know who he is. How about the aquarium nano guy, right? He was on one of my live streams and I was talking, we were talking about shrimp and I have cherry shrimp. And I said to him how I'd love to have some of that blue shrimp, maybe get some different colors, make a Skittles tank. He went ahead and sent me some. But the problem was these bad boys got stuck in transit for five days. So for five days, these shrimp were in a bag in the back of a postal truck. How'd they fare? What are they looking like? Let's check. Well, so as you can see here, here's one of them crawling along here. He sent me 20 of these. And believe it or not, all 20 survived. As Soon as we put them in the tank, they went right to work, having fun, meeting their friends, kneading on the food, kneading on the plant matter. They made themselves right at home. Now, unfortunately, when these guys arrived, I was at work. I had to have my wife and my daughter open the bag up and get them in the tank. I didn't get to be a part of that, nor did I get video footage of it because of that. But I felt it was more important to get them out of that bag and get them into the tank. I'm not going to wait to make some video content and put the animal's life in danger. You get the idea. That's not what it's all about. I'd much rather do a video like this after it's already been completed. But as you can see, they're fine. They're doing well. They're going to get bigger. This was his first time shipping shrimp and uh, he did a very good job. They showed up, they arrived alive. The water was cool. <clears throat> Keep in mind right now, where I live in North Carolina, we've been reaching heat from anywhere from 95 to 96 degrees. In the back of those postal trucks, it's a tin can. It gets even hot. I happen to know because I drive a Ford Transit at work. And those things get like saunas in there. So he did a very good job packing these and getting them to me. So shout out to the Nano Aquarium guy for sending me these. Um, and what great looking shrimp. Very colorful, very healthy. They look great. Let's pan over here and look at these guys on the rocks. As you can see right here, there's two of them on the left side of that rock. Just kneading away, like cats. This is my dirted sand cap 10 gallon aquarium. It is just for shrimp. I'm gonna let these guys grow out. Maybe they'll make some babies, and if they do, I'm gonna go ahead and, and put these shrimp in a different tank, spread them around. I have these shrimp in lots of tanks. Well. Not lots, two of them. This one and a 20 gallon long male beta tank. Here's some of them right here. And over here, they're everywhere. They're doing great. When they get this big, I'm gonna let them grow out a little bit. We're gonna start moving them over and they can help be some cleanup crew in some of my other aquariums. Like maybe this tank over here. If you watch my channel, you'll know that I set this Father Fish Aquarium up with Father Fish himself in one of my live streams. I am having trouble getting it to cycle. For some reason, it just will not cycle. I have, as of yesterday, added an established hang in the back filter because just throwing the sack of bio rings kind of helps, but if you're not getting a lot of flow through them, uh, it really doesn't help seed the tank quickly. So I went ahead and added the filter to help maybe hurry it up in addition to adding Seachem stability daily. Hopefully we can get this tank to cycle because I got some plans for fish to put in this aquarium here, but I'm not gonna do it with the high ammonia and the high nitrites that I currently have in this aquarium. So look forward to that video. I'm not gonna tell you what's going in here. I couldn't be happy, happier with the job that Nano Aquarium Guy did, so shout out to him. Thanks again for sending these to me. I do wanna get some more shrimp and really get a nice, of a different shrimp colony going. I wanna get some new cardenas, I wanna get some yellow ones. Uh, from what I understand, they require a little bit different of a setup, maybe some water with a little bit more salty environment, but we'll see. I'll do some more research. But yeah, very good. I recently had to pull a bunch of water sprite out of this aquarium because it was so thick, it was blocking the light. You couldn't see anything. Um, but 
this big Amazon sword and some of this anacharis that I got in here. There's still a little bit of water sprite left. That's gonna grow and it's gonna it's gonna take over the aquarium again. So not really worried about it. But that's it, guys. I wanted to share that with you, an experience with Nano Aquarium guy, and show you that the shrimp can be pretty hardy. They're in there, they're doing great. Like I said, once they grow out, we're gonna move them around. You're gonna see them a lot better, and this is gonna be just good all around for the tanks. They're great tank cleaners, and it adds a little something different to the hobby, into the fish tanks, other than just the fish all the time. It gives you a whole different experience and helps you become a more well-rounded, better fish keeper because you're tapping into different species. Um, and, and you're learning how they work all together in one within our aquariums. So thanks again, Nano Aquarium Guy. I appreciate you. If, uh, like I said in the video, you can catch his channel in the description. I'll put it there. And uh, consider checking his content out over there. Good guy. Very nice guy. And, um, yeah, he's pretty good at shipping shrimp as well as fish. Even when the... Mail delivery systems fail us. These guys grow. I'll keep you updated on it as well. So, till next video, I'll see you out in the field.